guys, so today's Makeup Mayhem video was requested by Michelle W25 and A Audra on Twitter with hashtag LHeartsMay, and they wanted to see an updated everyday hair routine, the products I use, my hair care routine, and also what I do for my like everyday loose waves that I've been wearing in my videos. And I figured that was the perfect video to do today, and I just wanted to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on in and show you guys the products that I use, and then I will get in to my little lovely demo that I filmed earlier, and then I had a lunch break, and then I had a dinner break, and it's been a little while, and now it's all fallen out, but it's fine, because you guys still heart me, right? I heart you. Okay, bye. Okay, starting off with shampoo, I wash my hair about three times a week and I alternate shampoos with each washing. So at any given time, I have at least three different shampoos in rotation. The first one is a clarifying shampoo. This is Neutrogena T-Gel Therapeutic Shampoo Original Formula. This is actually for itchy scalps, irritated scalps, dandruff, psoriasis. I find that it's a really good clarifying shampoo and I find that it works better than regular clarifying shampoos. I do find that my hair has been growing faster since using this on a weekly basis and it makes sense to me because I feel like if you're keeping your scalp really healthy then it would only make sense that your hair would grow and be healthier and just everything starts from your roots right so I do really like this it does have a funny smell because of the coal tar so it might the smell might throw you off but I've really been enjoying it and I've used this on and off since like seventh grade the second shampoo is a toning shampoo this is unite blonda shampoo and it is a purple shampoo see it's bright purple and I've done a whole video on purple shampoos so I will link that video below if you'd like to see it and that goes into more detail on why you would want to use a toning shampoo and why it helps to make your blonde hair brighter and why it's not scary even though it's like a dark purple and when you're applying it in the shower it's kind of scary because like this purple stuff is just going all over you it works so well at keeping your blonde hair brighter and not brassy and yeah I'm gonna link that video and you should watch it if you have blonde hair the third shampoo is any just regular shampoo that I have at the time my favorite one is the TGS Factor Smoothing Shampoo. It smells like strawberries and cream and it is amazing and it's my favorite and I'm completely out of it so I don't even have the bottle to show you but I am going to be repurchasing that one. Currently I am third shampoo less if you can believe it. I've just been using these two but I am due to wash my hair with my regular shampoo my next washing so I need to go and like get more TGS Factor Smoothing Shampoo. For conditioner, I'm super easy. I use the exact same conditioner every single time I wash my hair, regardless of what shampoo I use. This is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. This is actually a hair mask, and I am a big fan of using hair masks as conditioners, especially because I don't wash my hair every single day. These, I just find, really put the nourishment back into my hair, put the moisture back into my hair, especially when I'm using the T-Gel. It's kind of rough on your hair. I feel like my hair needs a mask after, but I just use this every single time I wash my hair. This is a new one because I just used it up my last jar. It smells so good. So I take a scoop of this and I put it on my ends and if I have anything left in my hand, I just kind of rub it over the top section of my hair and then I take a wide tooth comb and I comb it all out in the shower and that really helps with tangles. My hair has natural curl to it, natural wave and texture and it gets very tangly. And so if I don't do this step, it is a wreck when I get out of the shower. I use some sort of detangling spray. I either use the TGS Factor Papaya Leave-In Moisture Spray, which goes with the TGS Factor Collection Shampoo and Conditioner that I love. This smells so good, and it works really well as a leave-in conditioner. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I almost had forgotten how much this smells good because I've been using the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin a lot more lately. I actually just finished a bottle and I repurchased it. This stuff's really good too. This stuff I'm more likely to use if I'm kind of being lazier with my hair and I need something that's gonna be really good in one step. I can get out of the shower and just use this and my hair looks decent. My hair is one that can take a lot of product. I can pile in like 10 products in my hair and not only will it not be greasy or weigh down, it just absorbs it and like wants more. I can't put enough product in my hair. So it does work well on its own. This one's better if I'm layering it with other products. I just cannot get over the smell. You guys need to smell this next time you're like in an Ulta. Yeah, it smells really good. So I don't use these both. I pick one or the other and I apply that next. I spray it all over my hair and then I comb my hair through with my tangle teaser. I also have the wet brush and even though I prefer using the wet brush because I think it's easier to use because it has like a handle and it's like a regular hairbrush, I do find that my hair is a little bit more 
frizzy when I use the wet brush. I'm not really sure why. And I also think it's a little bit harsher on my hair. So I do prefer my Tangle Teaser, and that is the one that I tend to reach for way more often. The next thing I do is make a cocktail with two products, a cream product and an oil product. These are the ones I'm currently using. This is the Kerastase Cement Thermique and the Oro Fluidio, I never know how to say that, oil. I got this at Ulta, it's kind of hard to find. It smells like vanilla. It smells so good, it's my favorite oil, and it works really, really well too, and it lasts forever. This is a heat-activated reconstructing milk for brittle, damaged hair, and I have been using this in place of Kerastase Nectar Thermique, which is another one that I would put in the step. If I was using that instead, I would mix it with the oil, but I've really been enjoying this one. I like it, and I'm actually kind of coming to the tail end of my bottle here and I'm going to be repurchasing it because I really like it. But either one, Nectar Thermique is also really nice. And if I'm not using these, if I'm again trying to go for something a little bit easier and quicker, the S-Factor Smoothing Lusterizer Defrizzer and Tamer also is really good. This is really cool because it has shimmer in it. It's a cream product, it smells super good, but it also has shimmer. And so it actually makes your hair catch the light a little bit more. And it doesn't look greasy or anything, but I wouldn't put it at your roots. It just kind of gives your hair like a luminosity that's really, really beautiful. And it works really well. It has a nice texture, consistency, and it doesn't weigh your hair down. So I do really enjoy this, but if I'm using this, I only use this. I don't mix it with an oil or anything because I feel like with the little shimmers, it would just be a little bit too much. So this is kind of a standalone product. Typically, if I use this, I will also use the leave-in papaya spray. That's it for products that I use before I dry my hair and then I just dry my hair and I go to sleep. I typically wash my hair at night and I sleep with my hair in these big fabric 80 style scrunchies. These are a trick that I actually learned from my friend Renee. I used to just use like cloth softer hair ties. These crease your hair as little as possible. You will still get a little bit of a dent if your hair is prone to um, shapes. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like some people's hair are more prone to holding curl and holding shape and if that's the case then your hair will probably crease no matter what you use and mine does that my hair will hold curl until i wash it even if it's days and it will crease even if i just have a super like soft scrunchie so i put this in my hair really loose and I sleep with it kind of on top of my head in like a little bun. If it's the first morning after I've washed my hair, then I use a little bit of texturizing spray. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray and it is my favorite one. I just put a little bit of this right at my roots. I shake it up. I'll actually just demonstrate it really fast. And I just spray the littlest bit right at my part. I go like this. And then I shake it and I do a little bit back there. Then I give it a second, I rub it in like that. I shouldn't be doing this when my hair is like already curled, but whatever, you guys are gonna forgive my frizzy kind of hair now, because this normally happens before you curl your hair. So I do that, and if it's the second day, if it's the day after the day that I've curled my hair, then I use an actual dry shampoo. This is the Pantene Root Reboot Dry Shampoo. It is my favorite drugstore dry shampoo, and it is the one that I'm currently using. I've gone through a few bottles of this already. It is really good stuff. I recommend it, but don't use a ton of it. Don't use a ton of any dry shampoo or any texturizing spray. You just need like a little bit to kind of, well, I don't know, I guess you can just do whatever your hair needs. For me, I find that I just need a little bit to kind of like revamp it, especially the morning right after I wash my hair. I find that it's a little limp um, until I like style it and curl it and this stuff just really helps. So use those products and then I spray my hair down with a heat protectant spray. You guys are probably thinking, you use so many products and I do, but my hair also loves product. It's really weird. So this is the one I'm currently using. This is the Got To Be Guardian Angel Flat Iron Balm. And what I like about this is it actually is a little bit sticky. And even though that sounds weird and a lot of people might not like that, I feel like it actually gives my hair grip when I'm going to curl it, if that makes any sense. And it doesn't like stay sticky. Like my hair doesn't feel sticky. It just kind of gives it a little bit of like a texture that helps with curling, I find. So I use that and then I curl my hair. I am currently using my Conair one and one fourth inch curling iron. This is not a very good curling iron. I've used it for a really long time. It doesn't get very hot. I would recommend a Hot Tools curling iron if you want one with a clamp. And if you're gonna go clampless, you guys know I love my new me. But for my everyday quick waves, I like to use one with a clamp because I find it much quicker. I've just gotten really used to it. So I actually went to Ulta and I tried to buy a Hot Tools 
one and one fourth inch and I accident accidentally I accidentally bought a one and a half inch thinking that that was this size and I brought it home and it was way too big so make sure it's the one and one fourth the one inch is not quite big enough the one and a half is huge the one inch is good if you want curly hair but if I'm doing kind of my loose waves then I prefer the one and one fourth and this is what I've been kind of wearing in my videos it's a really quick curl I just section my hair up and I curl away from my face on both sides of my face it's really simple there's nothing special to this method and I've showed how to do these curls in several videos but a lot of people were asking how I was doing my curls in my latest video so I figured I would just show you really fast the products that I've been using and the curling iron so I do that when I get to the very very front section I pay a little bit more attention to these curls because they tend to like frame my face funny if I don't hold the iron on a little bit longer I think my front hair is just a little bit more prone to falling out and you can even tell like my front sections are just they just they don't stay as curly as the rest of them because I think they're like my bangs and my bangs just have their own ideas on life and how they want to act and live their life and last step I just spray it down with hairspray the one that I'm currently using is the Kenra platinum finishing spray but I like lots of hairsprays I just use whatever I have I'm not like super picky with hairspray anything that's aerosol is good with me so I spray it down. I don't use a ton because I don't like my hair to be stiff. That's the only thing I don't like about this hairspray is it does make your hair a little bit on the stiffer side. Um, it's a very like firm hold, I think, compared to other hairsprays that I use. I just like kind of a fine spray that just gives it a little bit of hold, but if someone touched your hair, they wouldn't even think you have hairspray in your hair. That's my favorite because then it's like you just were born with like effortless curls. Maybe she was born with it and maybe it's Maybelline. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see the last two days of Makeup Mayhem, I will have them in little clickable videos above my head. So you can click whichever one catches your eye or whichever one you haven't seen. And I will see you guys in two days with my next Makeup Mayhem video. Bye.